Hello and welcome back to Betrayer. I have cleared all of the past locations of things. All the treasures are mine now. Uh, and my mouse is being stupid. There we go, that's better. Um, so, this included uh, quite a lot of gold, some interesting weapons that I have yet to look at, and two gifts for the woman in red. Um, who actually has a name now, I suppose. Allison. There we go. But that included iron shackles, which you can give to her, which is a bit strange. Uh, and the reason that I gave was so you could shackle someone later, and she said, don't tempt me, which is concerning. Um, and then also a bottle of wine, which, yeah, that's pretty standard, honestly. Standard gift. Yeah, I found a bunch of just interesting things. Um, lots of, lots of charms lying around. Uh, that's better than the crude charm, I suppose. Cool. I also have an exceptional charm of swiftness. Reload muskets, pistols, and crossbows 15% faster. Uh, yeah. Oh no, move 10% faster. I was looking at the other one. But yeah, I've also found a Harrier's musket. Damage of 105. Deflect chance 5%. Cell price 1000. Speed slow. Moderate and moderate. Hmm. Interesting. That's an upgrade, certainly. Uh, a commander's musket. Very slow, but 0% deflect chance and 140 damage. That's pretty good. I mean... Yeah, right. Screw it. I'll take that. That damage, though. Uh, a Trickster's pistol, which looks like a crossbow for some reason. Uh, is it a crossbow? 10% stagger. No, no, that shouldn't be. But we have a, a crossbow there, which is presumably going to be better. I'm just assuming it is. If it isn't, I'm not sure what the point is. A duelist pistol. A hunter's longbow. Which will probably be better. Yeah, no, that's significantly better. A warrior shortbow. And a scout shortbow. Um, is there anything else? Um... don't think there is. No. So I guess we can just scrap like all of the non-named weapons. Yeah? Yeah, that seems reasonable. That was a named one. Uh, never mind. No, that's also a named one. Let's just keep that. Uh, longbow. Are we using the other musket? Swiftness. Figure. Swiftness, soldiery. Uh, I'll keep the exceptional one on the basis that it could be good to do that. Okay, cool. Now, back to the shop. What can we buy? Well, we don't need any of their weapons. Because we found some cool ones. So, I guess it's a case of doing that, doing that, doing that, doing that. Just all of that sort of thing. Um, I mean, we're not using either of these, really, so we don't actually need to buy anything for them. Let's just grab up some musket load, fill everything up. Okay, longbow arrows. I can fill those up, and crossbows. Cool, there we go. Uh, and I've been hoarding explosives for whatever reason, so we're just good to go. We're prepared for basically anything. Except for things that can't be killed with arrows or bullets. Um, those we are not prepared for. But that's sort of, I mean, we've never been prepared for those. Actually, that's not true. We have explosives. Things that can't be killed with arrows, bullets, explosives, or tomahawks. If only I knew how to use either of those last two items. Um, but I actually can't remember. Yeah, and I think I've still got a ton of cash left over, so it's... I think we're in pretty good shape here. We're reaching the end game. I mean, this bow does a stupid amount of damage now, doesn't it? Hello? I hear you, but I can't see you. 
Ah, there you are. Okay. You know, I, I could just keep missing him, but uh. Oh, also, if you're planning on doing this, um, just to let you know, the stone people in in Fort Henry come alive when you visit. Which they don't the first time you're there, but they they do now. Just a heads up. There's only like two of them, but it's a bit of a surprise. No, oh, hello. Yeah, I heard you and then crouched, but it's too late. Stop zigzagging. There we go. Don't zigzag. I need to shoot you. Ow. God damn it. Why must you shoot me so much? It is I that needs to shoot you. Um, hello? It's a, it's a, it's a sign. A knocked Western Gate destination. None shall pass without leave of, of the Lord Governor. Okay. Well, I don't see anyone trying to stop me. Oh, the deep forest. That sounds like fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, well, there's some houses around. So I guess we'll go and visit those. This place better not be full of spiders, though. Or those weird six-legged things that aren't really spiders. Oh goody. Look at all of these things that I can collect. Right, well, I'm just going to run straight to those houses. Screw the path. Actually, you know, let's follow the path. Let's follow the path. Possibly because it's, I've realised that it's going to be the only open ground I find here. And as such, shooting through dense trees isn't necessarily the best way of going about things. Okay, cool. Can't carry that. Fair enough. I've immediately just gone off the path there, after saying that I would stick to it. Oh, but it takes us past things. Oh, I can't ignore that. There's loot here. Hidden. I mean, I, I can't say no to loot. Despite the fact that I'm running in some random direction. I mean, I don't know what's around here. I'm just sprinting through the forest like an idiot. Why am I doing that? I don't really know. Um, well, there's a chest here, in this ditch. Oh. Chest is sealed shut by some mysterious force. It's a corrupted chest. That's nice. So I cannot open it in the daylight. That doesn't worry me at all. Um. Um, 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 um. Um, 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 um. Hello? I can hear you. Ah, yes, there you are. Oh, 100 coins. Yeah, I was getting rewards of 200 coins every now and again for digging up those sort of rocky patches, so I guess they're, they're upping the rewards here. I can only assume that there'll be really, really expensive things available in the shop soon. But there might not be. Cool. Can't carry it. Never mind then. Um. Well, that's not following the part. Okay. Okay. There's a turning. There's a turn. That's fine. We'll just follow the path. It'll be great. Hello. Is there anybody here? Deserted encampment destination. You appear to have built your, your encampment out of straw. Um, oh, an explosive. 
Don't have any of those. No one is allowed to use explosives here. Examine the remains of a grown man. There is no obvious sound of violence. Oh, no. There we go. I guess that's that's an option. Uh, more remains. This person seems two seems to have died where he fell. Perhaps they were ill. I dug a partial and badly weathered map of the region around Fort Hope, include, indicating Indian settlements and encampments. Some are marked with skull symbols. The word blight is written in a margin. Ah, yes, they died of illness. Again, this person died without any apparent injuries. Nope. Hmm, perhaps that's the blight. Those things. Just growing on everyone's houses. No, it's more likely to be smallpox or something. Something horrible like that. Deary me. Ah, there you are. There you are. A water skin. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I guess we've cleared out this area. There doesn't seem to be any bells here, so I guess we should move on to the next house. Yeah, pretty much straight through the woods. I mean, I could go back and follow the path, but that would be just a massive detour. Plus there's treasure in the woods. And so far, no enemies. So, I mean, you know, there's that. But I'm sure something will spring out of the ground soon enough. Okay, I heard the noise. I can hear that noise. There'd be natives in the woods. As opposed to conquistadors. Dug up a necklace of us now. Hello? Oh. The remains of a woman who appears to have been impaled, though. Wow. That's. Seems like an excessive way of killing someone, as far as I'm concerned, but okay. I mean, you know, there's stabbed and shot and then impale that just some of those seem far easier to achieve than others and well yeah you must have really not liked them whoever did that probably vindictive this chest is empty well honestly I'm not sure why any of these chests have anything in them. They're just in the woods. I mean, who's leaving all their money in the woods in a box? Next to random trees. I don't quite understand why they're doing that, but oh well. Game logic, I mean. Lone cabin destination. Oh, tis a shop. Oh. Tis a... It looks as though a bell could be mounted here. Well then. Evil stalks these woods. We are all of us doomed. Arm yourself, preferably with my wares, of course. I'm afraid I have found some... rather... rather excellent uh, weapons out and about. You know, just... Oh. Sure. I mean, I, I can upgrade those. That's fine. Explosives. Dumbahawks. Ooh, I'm running out of money now. Well, I did just spend 3,000 on that, so... You know. Whatever. Was that a trap? Oh no, it was just there. Okay. That's sneaky. Good placement. That's... Log as opposed to. Hey, what the 
creates a T on the side of it. And the remains of an adult man's scorched flesh dangles from charred bones. There is no other evidence of a fire in the vicinity. Well. That is, that is a curious thing. Type of corn cob that has been gnawed clean. And there's one more thing around here. Probably on top of this small hillock. It is a grave. Grave is unmarked. Oh, there we go. Where, oh, where could the bell be? Um, hmm. See, if I had come here first, I would have assumed it was at the other place. But it isn't. We went there. So, I don't know. But that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time with more Betrayer.